Hello, in this little video I'm going to show you some good to know tricks about using boolean operations with text. Um, to start creating, applying a boolean to let's say something like this, will not work because a boolean operation really doesn't like triangles. So this is something you need to keep in mind. This is not going to work. Uh, a little trick to create a circular planar surface, which is made of quarks only, is to use a polygon plane and smooth it with a linear algorithm. Go to smooth and increase the subdivision levels to, let's say, 4. And now you have a nice surface state made of quads only. Let's scale this up. Now let's create text. I use the basic settings, only bevel, and I'll choose create. Here we are. This text is way too high res. It's not gonna work. To fix this, I'm gonna scale this up. Let's turn to the pivot. And we need to get rid of some faces. So, select all of the faces. To select something like that and delete. Now center put it again. Let this down this. Let's delete the history on all of our objects, freeze the transformations. And now make a boolean, but this is not gonna work. Our text is still too high resolution it's too high res. We need to find out a way how we can how we can reduce this. But before we reduce this, we need to check out something like this. This is also a reason because a boolean would, will not work. We need to get rid of this resolution. And this is the way how we're going to do it. We choose the reduce operation. These are my settings. I reduce by 50%. Keep quads is one face compact is one, and we want to preserve all of the all of the attributes. So when I hit reduce, we have only about half of the amount of polygons. But I think this is still too much. Let's try this. The history. Yes. So reduce once more. Okay, it's starting to look crappy, so it, it has to work now. There we are. And well, it still does look okay. It's See this? This is easy to fix. We need to see where the face are. Ah, look at this. Those edges are so fix this like this. And there must be another issue like that uh, over here. Oh, this is... We have here some little bit more edges involved.
Okay, so now. Then we got another one right here. Easier if I go to my side view just to delete all of those faces. Didn't work. We simply vertex. So I select, for instance, those three vertices. Oh, ah! Yeah. And Okay, move here with the A. It's okay. Well, a little bit over here. So we're finished with that. You can select all of the border edges. and extrude them. We'll add some subdivisions, we we'll some divisions. Okay, see what happens? This is a little bug when you extrude and add divisions to your mesh and it's if it's more complex, so it's not a problem. Just reassign, reassign your shader. There we go. And now, to fill those holes, this is really easy. Just go into the side view, select all of those lower edges, and run the fill hole command. There we go. So the really the hardest part is to figure out where does your text still look right but has the lowest resolution possible so that the boolean runs okay because this is really a complex shape such a text would be easier as well if I would have gone ahead and You see, here is a good, a good edge you're gonna hit and just extract those two parts, run a separate boolean for this and for this text, and combine them after, and then just sew the edge together. Whoa, uh, okay, I think that's all. Thanks for watching.